Hello friends, this is Jalpesh here and welcome again to my channel Code with J. Uh, in this video, we are going to see how we are going to have uh, com interaction between component via shared service. If you haven't seen the first part of this video series like uh, where you can have a component interaction with the input and output directives. So I would highly recommend you to uh, watch this video and then you will get a better idea of this video also. Although like this is a different way of doing the component interaction between the two components. So without wasting time, like let's directly get into the application. So here you can see this is a pretty standard uh, Angular app uh, which I have created to save some time. So I am going to run that uh, application and here you can see in the Visual Studio code, uh, it is a uh, Angular 9 application. So let's see now it is building the application and uh, once it builds the application, it should be fine. Okay, so here you can see like uh, it is a uh, simple Angular app and pretty standard one. Uh, so we don't require all this uh, stuff so we are going to remove this thing and then we are going to have h1 tag component interaction with add service okay and now for this uh, we need uh, a, comp a new component so what i am going to do is i am going to create a child component so it will create a new component so here you can see now it has created the child component uh, so let's put this child component into the app component so we can see what is going on okay now let we run this application here you can see like child component works so everything works great till now now uh, first thing we need to do is uh, like we need to create a shared service so we are going to create a shared service here so i'm going to do NGGS as in service and I am going to create it. So here you can see like it has created this as service file. So it is a pretty standard shared service and uh, that is what we, we required here. And we are going to have here a property called current message and we are going to have behavior subject. So I am going to explain you in in this like uh, why we need this and then we are going to have uh, let's put this one is message sort and then we are going to have current message we are going to have message sort is observable so our behavior uh, subject is uh, kind of a ajax JX functionality which holds the current default message and it gives us uh, a observable with the default message and uh, I am going to have that message source into the uh, current object. Now we are going to have one more method called chain message and here it expects one parameter called message and then we are going to do next on message. We should have this current message that yes. So uh, what this chain message uh, do is uh, like it will whatever message has been passed is assigned to the this particular message source and again we are going to have current message which is our observable. Now is like the any services we are going to have that thing here, but for First, uh, we need to have on. Uh, we need to implement uh, the on any table. So we are going to have this, and we are going to get list there. So we, let's complete it, and then we are going to have public ng on it, and we are going to have this. Okay, and now we are going to have constructor where we are going to have a private object of our shared service. So we are going to do like this okay so now sales services is available and what i am going to do is i am going to have one more property called message and here i am going to put this and here i am going to say this dot sales services uh, dot current message and subscribe 
and we are going to have something like this dot message equal to message. So here what I have done is uh, like I have created a dependency injection where I injected this shell service and then on the engine on init what I have done is like I have subscribed to current message which is our observable created here and which all the default message and all the messages that we are going to pass and then we are going to have that message assigned to this particular local variable. So now let's put that local variable here. So what I am going to do is I am going to say parent message and here I am going to have that message and then I am going to put HR to draw a line so we can see like it is from parent and it is from child. Now let's see. So here you can see like angular default message from the parent is there. Same thing we need to do for child services, um, I mean the child component. So here also I am going to have a shared service object and we are going to have message property here also. And same way we are going to subscribe to current message and then we are going to have message and we are going to say this dot message equal to message, okay. So now let's also put uh, that in uh, the H2 tag. So let's do that child message, and we are going to have. Okay, so right now you can see both are the same way. Now uh, what I am going to do is I am going to create uh, two buttons, one from parent and another from the child one. So let's create that. Uh, first, I'm going to create in the child, and uh, here uh, I'm going to say uh, say that like send message from child, and then here I'm going to have click event, and we are going to have on click, and let's write that click event here. Okay. And they, here, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to say save services that send message, and then say hello from child component. So now let's run this application and see. So here you can see like it is changing the uh, messages which we subscribe in the bot of the services. So same same thing we can do for parent component also. I think uh, I, you have already got the idea like uh, uh, what needs to be done. So let's do it. So here also we are going to put one button and we are going to have click event here also. We are going to have this and here we are going to write same message from parent and here we are going to have one method called on click which will be void we need to put parentheses over there and what i am going to do is same like i am going to say hello from parent and let's run this application so now it's running from both way so i hope you like this video so let me explain what i have done again uh, so what I have done is I have created a uh, Angular service where I have created a behavior subject. Behavior subject is a sub uh, uh, RxJS functionality which holds uh, any object as observable. And what I have done is like I have created my current message observable from this message source. And on the chain message, I am changing the message for the next. Next is the observable functionality law. So whatever message has been passed from this uh, will be there. So and then what I am doing is like I am I am subscribing to that message in the in, in the on in it and on the in click event uh, I am changing the message. So like whatever event will be fired from this. Uh, it will get the idea that uh, like it has got changed and like it will be reflected on the every component. So 
Uh, let me give you one example like where this could be quite useful. So let's say uh, you need to implement the login functionality. Uh, at that time, like uh, uh, if you uh, want uh, every component to know that like whether user has logged in or not, at that time like this sales service can be very useful. And uh, once you log in, like it will notify that like every component that it has been logged in. So that way, like you can use this Angular services. And uh, this whole source code will be available on the GitHub. So I will put a link of GitHub on this particular uh, video description. So no, uh, don't worry about that part. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would highly recommend you to subscribe to my channel because like. I'm going to put this kind of videos and uh, this gives me more motivation to create uh, this kind of videos. So thank you for watching this video and see, hope to see you in the next video.